Hi, I'm Tim Coombs, co-pastor of Trinity Presbyterian Church in Scotia, New York, and a member of the Network of Biblical Storytellers. To learn more about its mission, go to nbsint.org. The story of Jesus walking on the water is a most intriguing story. In, in Mark's gospel, Jesus has just fed the 5,000 after the disciples had come back from their own tour, their own ministry tour. And you get the sense that Jesus is just a little frustrated with them. And so at the end, he tells his disciples to get in the boat at the Sea of Galilee and go across to Bethsaida while he's gonna stay behind and dismiss the crowds. And when he does, he goes up on the mountain to pray. When evening comes, the disciples are still out in the boat and Jesus is still praying up on the hill. And he could see that they're out there in the middle, they have a headwind against them and they're not making much progress. And in the early morning, they're still out there fighting against the wind. And the story says Jesus comes to them walking on the water. In fact, it says he intended to pass them by and walk to the other side himself. But they see him and perhaps it's still dark. They're, they're terrified and, and, and they think it's a ghost and they all saw him. But the story goes, Jesus says, don't fear, it's just me. And he gets in the boat and the wind stops and they are just astounded by this. In Matthew's gospel, there's an additional part of the story in which Jesus is getting to the boat and they're terrified. And then he reassures the disciples, but Peter says, Lord, if it's you, command me to come, to walk on the water too. And Jesus says, well, come on. And Peter gets out in the boat and steps and steps, he's walking on water too. But all of a sudden he sees the wind and feels it, he gets scared and he begins to sink and Jesus reaches, helps him up and they both get in the boat. And Jesus says to Peter, you don't have enough faith? <laughs> Not even yet? It's a fun story, a mysterious story and one that is meant to show Jesus' unique power in this world. Thank you.